Hi, it's Ed Kaminsky with the Kaminsky Real Estate Group, and I'm excited to be here today with Phil Norman to learn a little bit about design. And uh, Phil, why don't you tell us the name of your company and how long you've been in the business? Okay, great. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, Norman Design Group, my name is Phil Norman, and uh, we have an interior design firm that does both uh, interior architecture and interior decorating. So we're the classic mix of uh, both the structure and the decoration, layering each other in a in nice harmony, and we've been doing it for uh, 23 years. That's a, that's a tough combo to think about because <clears throat> there is a lot that goes into um, the interior choices of where you put things. So, I mean, tell me a little bit about that on the architectural side. What are you looking for when you're looking at, what is it plans or? Well, we start with the architect early mm -hmm. and we look for really good bones and really good flow. So we will, when we get the, the architectural plans, we'll actually put furniture into the room so the homeowner can actually see how the rooms scale out and what those rooms can actually hold and may um, you know have an end result for their family and at that point then we're layering you know ceiling designs cabinet tree fireplace symmetrical lines sight lines making sure windows align with furniture seating so again you kind of got to start with the architecture the interior architecture but you have to have the end result in mind so that uh, when you're all done everything again acts in harmony. But there's been a big trend I've noticed in the last I'd say at least five or six years where homeowners are really tackling the construction of a new home themselves from beginning to end where previous to that it was mostly spec builders building the homes people just come in at the end and pick some paint colors and they're done now have you noticed that same trend where there's more people building their own homes uh, we have definitely, especially in South Bay and I think in California in general, it's such a multicultural um, environment here in, in the state of California that people are traveling, they're getting exposed to unique hotels, just experiences themselves. So they want to bring some of that specialness that they've had maybe on a trip uh, and have it in their everyday lives. So right. then therefore they may want to build their own custom unique home that's special to them and not just finishes that someone else chose. What is the hottest trend right now? What's what's a current trend or a hot trend in design that people would want to know about? We do a lot of um, homes for, for families. So they may have younger kids or or just, just real, real life homes. Animals, do, you know, dogs, kids, and they're living the active lifestyle that a lot of us Southern Californians do. So I think we're looking for something that looks really nice, but also maintain, is a, has a certain level of maintenance. And I think that that comes in fabrics of which we're um, working with a lot of outdoor fabrics on the interior. There happens to be one company called Perennials that we really like that you would never know it's an outdoor fabric. If you put it on your sofa and your kid wipes, you know, popsicle or jelly on it, there you can use bleach and water and, and wipe this down and, and essentially, you know, keep keep going and not be worried about it. Um, another op, another uh, interesting um, material out there that's not related to decoration it goes on top of countertops and it's called dry treat and it's one of the best sealer that's been out there for a long time so now the the marbles that are so popular right now and the limestones that are so popular we're not really doing any granites which happen to be a really hard material but we're using these softer materials that usually sometimes does create a little nervousness in people but if you treat it with this dry treat material it's really opened up a lot of um, avenues for us for materials on kitchen countertops, bathrooms that we haven't been able to use before as successfully anyway. What is the trend away from granite? Do you have any explanation for that? It's a little busier than what we are designing homes right now. We're, develop we're designing homes that are, that are peaceful, tranquil, clean, fresh, and a lot of granites out there are just, you know, the, the Juperanas especially, they're just wild and they have a lot of motion to them. And I think they just kind of ran their course. They're usually a little heavier. Uh, if we do use a granite, we try to find the one that's that got the tightest um, material, uh, you know, allocation to it. And then sometimes we'll hone that and that calms it down. So granite's not completely out, but it's been a long time since I've I've done a granite. Well, like everything else, I'm sure it'll come back. Like the wallpaper of the 70s that went away for so long, it seems to be back as well. Are you using more paper on wall today? The wallpaper, definitely. Yeah. Um, again, kind of just talking about hot uh, materials out there. Philip Jeffries happens to be one of our favorite wall covering lines. Uh, they're known for creating really interesting pattern on textured backgrounds and they continue to 
uh, add um, you know hundreds of SKUs every year uh, and that really keeps the designers interested in their line and it's great for the end user because it offers something other than just a flat uh, dimensioned wall so right and I assume you can help with that absolutely <laughs> and I think we're really good editors we, we, we ask people to come in with their ideas but often they'll come in with a big book or a ton of you know stack of, of images and and we just have to say okay that's a really cool idea but you've got and other cool ideas so we need to like pick two and, and, right. and go with it because otherwise they're going to compete against each other what do you feel would be the most misunderstood thing about designers or why you hire a designer in your opinion when you're going to tackle a remodel or a new home construction uh, there's a lot of expense that you're already incurring and to layer a designer on top of it i would think if you're the homeowner it would be one more thing like well i don't need one you know it's only going to add cost to the to the project and um, I know that's what I probably would feel if I didn't do what I do, but you know, knowing and going through the process, I know that we can you know, help save the, the client a ton of money by picking the right things at the right time. You know, if you think designers cost a lot of money, try fixing all the problems that you might have made if you weren't guided along the way. That's a great point, yeah. Um, we're, we're exposing you to all those unique things that you, you want to see in, you, in your home. Um, so you really have a, your hand held the entire time along the process. So I think to shortcut it, they're writing you a check, but they're going to end up saving money, possibly. Quite, quite possibly. Certainly be happier. It would, it would be happier. The, it, you know, I always kind of joke with clients, like we're, we're less than half of sales tax as far as our fees on a typical project. So um, I think we're worth it. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. So on that note, why don't you just describe what you feel is your your best customer, I mean, who are you trying to help or find uh, in the marketplace? Uh, our best customer is someone who wants to do something unique, interesting, wants to be pushed a little bit outside their comfort zone, um, doesn't want necessarily to do what everyone else is doing. Uh, I'd say perfect will for us, two working professionals that trust in professionals and want to be be led and 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 again trust it always ends up with the the best end result you're based here in southern california do you ever leave this marketplace do you go anywhere else to do work we do quite often we'll follow um, a client to their second home vacation home um quite recently just taken us to uh, Scottsdale in, in, a, in a small project in Kauai, kind of slowly renovating a project there on the beach. Uh, so we'll go where a good match and a good relationship has uh, wants us to go. So we're, we're open. This is Ed Kaminsky with the Kaminsky Real Estate Group. Phil, thanks for spending the time with us this afternoon. Thanks for having me, Ed. You got it.